In order to complete this assignment, you'll have to first open the Space Planning Analysis Project Sheet, which will give you instructions on what you need to do, and then also open either Option 1 Floor Plan or Option 2 Floor Plan. So I have both of those documents open, so here's my Plan Analysis Project with the instructions, and you will need to be filling in some information here, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. Um, and also, here's a floor floor plan similar to what you will have. Um, this is not option one or two. This is just a sample for me to show you. Um, the first thing it's going to ask you on the instruction sheet is to bring beds into the bedrooms and major seating pieces into some of the social spaces. So um, first of all, when you click on an item, you'll see that handles appear around it. Um, I would recommend leaving these uh, um, as they are and making a copy. And you can do that in two ways. You can either right click and go to copy and then right click again on the piece and go to paste and it will paste an object right next to this. Um, once you have that, if you do something you don't like, you can either hit the delete key on your keyboard um, or you can do the undo key, which is up here, the backward arrow. So if I do undo, then I'll eliminate the copy. Alternately, once you have a piece selected, if you hold the control key down and hit D, it'll get a duplicate copy uh, and, and place it exactly in the same way. So you'll get the same results. So I'm going to take this and simply click on it and hold the key down and drag it um, into a space and when I let go, it'll just be placed there. Um, to rotate the piece into a position you might want, you would, um, you would double click on the piece and you'll see that a new ribbon or toolbar appears here and you'll see the rotate option here. This is the way I like to do it best. So you're going to go here and look at the options and you can rotate it right, left, or flip it. Um, that's all pretty easy and you'll find the position that you want and then just simply drag it into place as best you can. Um, if you um, feel as though you'd like to get closer, you can go to the View menu and go to Zoom, and I would just recommend going to 200%, which is twice as big, and now you'll have to do a little scrolling, but basically uh, it's much larger and you can be a bit more precise in what you're doing. So basically that should work for you. If you want to do uh, something at, uh, we'll select this again and double click and go to rotate and go to more rotation options. Um, you'll see the rotation is now at zero. If I did 45 and said close, you can see that I can turn that at any uh, specific angle that I want. So that's another option that you might use depending on the plan that you're using. Um, if we go to the sofas, um, again, I'm going to do control D to get a copy and then I'm going to bring that into the living room and I, I'm going to just place it wherever I think it would make logical sense and then um, I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it and do control D again and I'm going to place this across uh, flanking the fireplace and then I'm going to double click on this and go to uh, rotate and I'm going to flip it and you can see that if I flip vertically um, I'm going to get a sofa, two sofas that are now facing each other. So basically um, you'll have to do a little scrolling if you want to go back to the original view just go to view and click on the hundred percent it'll go back to where you started. Um, so that would be the first part of your assignment.